guys and welcome back to a brand new video. It's Manga Fairy. Um, I just cannot apologize enough for not being able to post for about two months now. I know that's a ridiculous amount of time just to be so silent and absent and um, I just wanted to give you guys a brief explanation as to what's been going on. For those of you who don't really care too much about that kind of thing and just want to know when, I'm, when I'll be getting back to my normal scheduled uploads of manga i will be posting a seven deadly sins video after this one today so look out for that for those of you who want a bit of an explanation because that's what you guys truly deserve please stay tuned so hello guys um i'm gonna try to keep this video as uncut as here we go as uncut as possible just so you guys can get the real deal no bs anything like that so Here's the deal. The first month of my absence really was to focus on school and work and finals, and there's a reason for that. The second month was just this jumble of feeling out of it and empty, and we'll get to all of that. So the first month really just took it out of me. For those of you who don't know, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't because I'm not as open as I probably should be on YouTube so you guys have a better understanding of who I am and what my life is like, I lived in this apartment for almost, for about a year with my boyfriend and towards the end of last year things really just fell apart and things were just not good. Um, we had to break up and he had to move out. Um, with that came it's a whole new jumble of problems because at the end of the year, school's gonna start the first month of the year. With that, I thought that I'd be able to focus on my school and I do go to school full time and not have to work because I do pay my own rent and I do have the finances to do that. Um, but he was gonna work and support the groceries and the everyday pg e kind of thing. Um, not too heavy of a um, financial burden, but it is significant in some ways. Um, but with his absence, I found that I needed to work and I needed to go to school and I needed to do everything on my own, which is totally okay, it is possible. But with YouTube and school and work, everything was starting to kind of take its toll on me and I wasn't producing the kind of quality content that I would hope to and things were just getting more and more sporadic and it was very hard to keep up with this and everything else. So I had to take a leave of absence for that. I figured that once that month was over and finals were over and done with, I'd be able to jump back on and be my usual self and kind of just start up again. And life doesn't always go the way you want it to. Um, I never really gave myself that time to let things sink in and what had happened and um, just know that it wasn't a normal breakup. Things really did get out of hand. Um, things were just not good at all. And I never really give myself that time, nor did I think the situation was handled correctly in my own personal life with my own personal people and family. I think things were just kind of all over the place and without getting too into it, things just didn't really settle with me until, you know, that second month of absence. And once summer hits and you have nothing to do, you're really just left with your thoughts and I wanted to wake up early every morning and, you know, edit, you know, make a video, work out, do all of these things. I have all this time. And then you wake up and you're like, man, like, I just don't feel up to it, you know? And just to put myself, you know, be completely honest with you guys, because that's what you guys deserve. Um, I do suffer from depression. And I know that's like everybody's excuse ever for taking a leave of absence or whatever. Um, but I really do, and I was put on antidepressants, and they made me sick, and it really sucked because, you know, antidepressants aren't necessarily the greatest thing, but I just really wanted to feel better as fast as possible, you know? You're in that state of just despair, and you want to get better, and it really sucked that they made me feel better because I had to stop taking them, and now I'm just left in this weird, like, state, and it's just funky, and... As I continued, you know, the date that I have to move out of this apartment because I can no longer afford it on my own, it just keeps getting closer and closer. And it really sucks. It's that feeling of defeat where you feel like, you know, you're kind of a disappointment and, you know, your life sucks because, like, you couldn't keep it together, which I know it's not my fault. I know that for a fact. 
I know that I did everything I could to keep my life together and if it was just me I'd be able to do it but because of other life reasons and stuff you know things just don't work out and so with the date coming closer and closer things just got more and more depressing and sad and I you know you don't want to leave your home it's not like I had lived here my entire life or anything but oh boy there's like junk back here <laughs> I didn't even realize um it's not like you've lived here your entire life but you've made this place your home and you don't want to leave and that's kind of what I'm experiencing right now in fact I kind of have the boxes right here that I'm getting ready um but as I was you know getting closer and closer to packing and getting my stuff out of here I started to think like maybe I should jump back on YouTube and try to distract myself because that was originally what I created this YouTube channel for was to make myself feel better and kind of give me a release. Um, so I really want to do that and bless you guys' hearts. Some of you guys really did reach out to make sure I was doing okay and stuff like that. And I really want you guys to know that I really do appreciate you. It's not that I was ignoring you or I felt like you guys were less important. It's just I didn't feel in a good enough place to be doing this kind of thing at the moment. I'm starting to feel better, you know. I'm starting to come with terms of life not being exactly how you want it to be. I have this plan for the future and I want to pursue it and I want to do everything I can to make myself feel better. And that includes talking to you guys and engaging in what really makes me happy and that's talking about stories, you know, critiquing stories, really breaking it down for you guys. And that's what I like to do. So just know that I'm going to try my best to get back into it. I might have a sporadic, you know, startup, but I'm going to try to set a very like I'm really going to try to set a schedule up for myself, not only for your guys' sake, but for mine as well, just so that I can have, you know, start to have some stability in my life, because I feel like I need that. And I really do want this YouTube channel to be what it was intended for, which is a release for you guys, and for you guys to hear, you know, not just um, basic commentary on manga, but really just kind of break down the story and how it's coming across. And I know I'm not this, like... English major, but I do take a lot of English courses, and when it comes to storytelling, I know manga is different than most stories. I really do try to give you guys a really good breakdown of what the story is doing well, what the story could use, a little bit here and there, just to make my channel a little bit more, you know, um, have more meaning and more construction and just be a little better of a place for you guys. And I know I'm a small YouTube channel, I'm not big by any means, but you guys do mean the world to me and I hope some of you guys have taken the time to like watch this long. If not, I completely get it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I hope you guys stick around. I know some of you guys won't and that's totally... I understand that you guys only have a certain amount of time. You guys' time is very valuable. And, you know, you want to watch someone who's going to be on YouTube all of the time, and I totally get that. But I hope some of you guys can stick around, because I know some of you guys, and I know that I comment to you guys all the time, you know, we had some kind of relationship, so I hope I can get that back. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video that will be posted later today, so look out for that. And, see you then. Bye!